What up everyone, Zuna right here coming at you with another video. I'm filming this with my iPhone. I'm trying to change some angles for you guys, so let me know what you think as well. Today's video is going to be something special. This morning, I just stumbled upon a tweet from TwitchCon, the conference from Twitch that gathers viewers, streamers, and people from the industry. Last year I was in San Diego, if you remembered, I was there as well. They recently tweeted something on my feed, and they're actually looking for people from the community to host a panel, a discussion, or what did they call it? A panel, a discussion, or a workshop. So that really, really interests me. If you don't know me yet, like one of my dream is to do like public speaking. I would love to do like a TED talk, for example. I would love to do like as much conference as I can do. And obviously, I like talking uh, to the camera, so I like just speaking. I think this is an amazing opportunity, but I have four days to submit uh, a case, what I want to talk about, what I want to do. And I thought by talking to my camera, I would probably like stumble on an idea, or maybe I can make you think of an idea that you can think I could do, or maybe I could inspire you to apply as well for yourself. This panel, as they say on this article that I would put down below, is basically, it needs to be something that is valuable to the viewers, to the community, and to the whole like, world of Twitch. It can't be about like YouTube videos, or making this, or making that. It has to be valuable for the Twitch community. And I thought of so many things, but I'm like, what is my relationship to Twitch? So, I did shoutcasting in France, I, did, I do sometimes stream here. I did have like thousands of viewers when I used to work at the studio, but right now I'm not so successful at Twitch. I'm pretty much nobody on Twitch. But I still think there's an amazing values that I've learned over the past few years of Twitch. And I was like, okay, maybe I can do a, a panel about uh, getting started on Twitch. And I, I, I was thinking this way of like, maybe I could title the panel everyone should have a twitch channel or like everyone should at least try like a title like this that will like be more targeted to viewers but also like be valuable for the community and the people entering the twitch community every day this is my first idea of course guys like maybe doing this video i'll have other ideas but like it was for me it, it was gonna it was about telling my story and saying that i'm i'm nathan i call myself zonobra in the gaming world I've tried many years to be a Twitch streamer. I have a lot, a lot of hours putting into it, but I don't regret trying. I don't regret trying because I love video games. I love this industry. I just like talking about stuff I like. And I feel like too many people are stopping themselves from streaming or even doing YouTube, as this video is for YouTube, of course, but I'm not gonna do this on the panel. And they just, they just show the scenario entire in their head. They're like, oh, I'm never going to be as good at as uh, Sam at 1G. I'm never going to be as good as him. I will never be as good as like her or whatever. I think a lot of people don't try streaming. But I think that one of the reasons is that they're trying to copy the one that they look at. So let's say you're a Soda Poppin fan. You'll never be better at Soda Poppin than Soda Poppin. Like Soda Poppin is the best at being himself. Of course, right? That makes sense. But I feel like people don't work on to having their own personality, having their own thing. When I started on Twitch, well, unfortunately it didn't work. Maybe I didn't put enough work into it. Maybe I was just not good. Or maybe like, maybe like the the whole like League of Legends on Twitch is very clocked and this, it's just so hard to get through, which I also understand. I mean, if it was that easy, everybody would do it. But I found that I had something different. I found that with my analytic skills and my past of like commentary, I was bringing value for people that wanted to learn certain matchups, certain aspect of the game, and it was really like nice because it was face camera. I, I really enjoy making this content on Twitch. Then I moved to YouTube because I thought it was more it was better to get started. The the reason why I want to talk about this on this panel, and this is just me like brainstorming, guys. You don't even have to watch this video. It's probably gonna be like those little videos that I would do sometimes and talk about shit. But I feel like I just feel like it's so interesting to see so many people getting inspired by streamers and not starting. And I feel like starting is literally the, the part that you want to skip as fast as you can. I know that w right now I'm in a period on YouTube and this is going to feel like a YouTube diary, but I've did 250 videos and I just feel like I'm getting started. And I feel like 
the guy who has like one, two, three videos that he's worked on and he had so much fight process in two, doesn't realize that it's just a long journey. It's like a long, long, long journey where your first video is not going to be a hit, your second video is not going to be a hit, maybe your hundredth video is not going to be a hit, but at least you've experienced a hundred video. And I feel like people are so scared of the first time they're going to press record, the first time they're going to they're going to press start streaming, or the first time they're just going to go live, that they just ended up never doing it, and they just consume content. And I think it's very important to to build a bridge between consuming content and creating content. Uh, of course, I love consuming content. I love some streamers. I love some YouTubers that I watch every day. But I also want to be on the other side of the bridge where I'm also a creator and I can express myself. And I think this is something that a lot of viewers have in them. A lot of viewers can be a great streamer, but they're just like, there's just too many things that discourage them. So this is a little preview of like a panel that I wanted to do before. Uh, of course, my credibility is not built because I don't have success on YouTube or on Twitch. So I think it's going to be hard for them to get me into a panel. But I know that last year I had the opportunity to present the app I was working for uh, called Spawn. And I got to sit on the couch and talk to maybe like a few, uh, few thousand people on stream. And a lot, like some people uh, in the TwitchCon area on the education panel. And it was very interesting. And I actually love public speaking. I know this is something I really, really want to do. And I want to be better at. And I want to master because I think it's so cool to be able to express yourself, to give your opinion, and have people reacting to them. And just like, it's just, I think it's just cool. And. So yeah, so that's it guys. So that was my really general idea. I want to know what you think before I submit any uh, submission or any uh, any application. I'm going to still think about it on my side and see how it goes. Uh, let me know what you think guys. Let me know if you think I could talk about another subject. Let me know if you think that this subject is not fitted for the TwitchCon. And let me know if you're going to TwitchCon next year. And if you do, I will probably go. Um, for sure, actually, I'll probably go and yeah let me know if you guys want to meet up and stuff I'll, i'd love to see you and say hi so thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you like this this is the quality of my iphone 7 plus i think this is the 7 plus uh if it's that good if, i don't know i think it's better than my camera to be honest because this is 60 fps 1080p so it should be very smooth so yeah guys thank you so much for being here i'll see you for the next video peace